हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल वी लर्न बाय शरू आई एम श्रद्धा बनोदे एंड इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी फ्यू मोर प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन पिच फैक्टर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर एंड ईएमएफ इक्वेशन टू रेफर माय लास्ट वीडियो इन विच आई हैव टेकन न्यूमेरिकल्स ऑन पिच फैक्टर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फैक्टर ई एम एफ इक्वेशन द लिंक इज द लिंक इज शेयर इन डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स you can go see that video and then you can continue with this video so let's get started a four pole 50 hertz star connected alternator has 15 slots per pole and each slot has 10 conductors all the conductors of each phase are connected in series the windings the winding factor being 0.95 now winding factor something different is given so winding factor is nothing but kw winding factor means kp and kc combinedly given as winding factor okay 0.95 when running on no load for a certain flux per pole the terminal emf was 1825 volts if the windings are lap connected as in a dc machine what would be the emf between the brushes for the same speed and the same flux per pole assume sinusoidal distribution of flux okay now this problem actually we are going to solve in two parts what are the two parts first part is to consider it as a alternator and get flux per pole out of it because the voltage induced is given once you get the flux per pole value we will substitute that flux value into dc equation dc drama machine data and we will get the value of emf induced in the dc machine okay so let's proceed to solve this problem i'll write down the given data here in this problem slots are not given to you but slots per pole are given to you which is 15 pole number of poles are 4 so you can get the value of slots easily from this 10 conductors per slot frequency is given as 50 hertz and el when you are given with emf terminal emf terminal emf means emf between two terminals between two terminals means it is always line emf it is not phase emf okay it is line emf so line emf is given to you okay so in this problem we are going to first of all uh, find total number of slots because you are given with slots per pole 15 you are given with poles 4 total number of slots are nothing but 15 into 4 60 also to substitute in emf equation you need phase value you are given with line emf so we will find out phase value by dividing line value by root 3 okay whatever value you have you can just write down or you can directly substitute in emf equation as well next step is to find out total number of conductors or turns per phase total number of conductors are conductors per slot in number of slots that is 10 into 60 we are getting 600 turns per uh, sorry conductors per phase that is 600 by 3 200 and turns per phase will be 200 by 2 which is 100 okay Now, if we substitute all the values in EMF equation, EMF equation is given by 4.44 kp kd f phi t. You are given with winding uh, factor that is kw, which is nothing but equals to kp kd. So we'll directly substitute kw, and out of this equation, phi is unknown. Rest everything is known to you. Substitute everything and get the value of phi. Phi will come out to be 49.46 milli Weber. Okay. So now, what is this next? This is the first part of the problem. What is the next part? If suppose we substitute this flux into DC machine, what will be the EMF induced? Okay, let's see the DC machine part. So for DC machine, EMF induced is given by 5 pn 6 5 pn z upon 60 by a. Now let's talk about each and every parameter in this equation. Eg is the EMF induced in generator. That is what we want to find out. phi is the flux induced per pole here also phi is the flux per pole here also so we will get take the same value which we got in last part, in first part of the problem okay p is the number of poles which is given speed speed you need to find out because frequency is given so from frequency you can find out the value of speed speed is given by 120 f by p substitute the value and get the value of speed okay then z total number of conductors now here you have to pay attention total number of conductors means what value you will take 600 200 or 100 it will be not turns so 100 cancel it is not per phase because when we talk about dc machine there is no single phase three phase 
so when you say z z is the total number of conductors and total number of conductors for the given data is 600 so you will take 600 for the calculation a in the problem itself it is clearly mentioned that it is a lab winding so a will be equal to number of poles that is p so we'll substitute all the values let's find out value of speed n is equal to 120 f by p and substitute because we get it as 1500 substitute in eg and you will get the value of eg as 749.4 volts check with your answer whether you're getting the same value or not right so we took another type of problem which can be asked we will take one more quickly and i'll end this video in the next problem it is quite simple but different okay an alternator on open circuit generates 360 volts So we'll quickly take another problem. An alternator on open circuit generates 360 volts at 60 hertz when the field current is 3.6 ampere. Neglecting saturation, determine the open circuit EMF when the frequency is 10 hertz and the field current is 2.4 ampere. This is something very different which is given. The data which is given is very different than what we will Considering till now, let's again try to analyze what exactly is given to you. One alternator is generating 360 volt at some frequency at some field current. Okay, saturation ko neglect kar diya. Chodo. Let's see next part. You need to find out EMF at some other frequency, some other field current. Simple. We need to solve this problem by the proportionality relationship, right? So, let's write down. Now, what is the EMF equation? EMF is given by 4.44 kp kd f phi t. Now, if you see a particular alternator which is given to you, suppose a machine is given to you, which is which is there. Usme physically, constructionally, there are no changes taking place physically or constructionally. Okay, it is given to you. So, 4.44 is a number will remain constant. Kp kd. Now, winding kitness is shorted hai, wo distributed hai, concentrated hai. This is already made. Now, this is not going to change. So, KPKD is also constant. Frequency is changing and flux is changing. Turns per phase, again, ek bar wo alternator machine ban gai hai. Iska matlab, iska turns per phase aap change nahi kar sakte. It has been made. So, again, it is constant. So, by considering that 4.44 KPKD TPH are constant, our EMF will be proportional to F and phi. Our EMF will be proportional to product of F and phi. F for both the cases is given. Phi. Phi is not given, but phi is proportional to. Now, what is flux? Flux is pro produced because of field current. So, flux is directly proportional to field current. Right? So, we will use the relationship of proportionality and solve this problem. Let's go step by step. As I told you, 4.44 kp, kd and tph are constant for a particular machine. And E is proportional to product of frequency and flux. But flux which is produced because of field current is proportional to field current. So, we will take the ratio, proportionality concept, a ratio of uh, E1 by E2, where E1 is the case which is given first and E2 is what we need to find out. So, E1 by E2 is equals to F1 phi 1 by F2 phi 2. Okay. Now, phi is proportional to field current. So, because, so accordingly, with the, we can write down phi 1 by phi 2 is equals to IF1 by IF2. Now, I will replace phi 1 by phi 2 by IF1 by IF2 in E1 by E2 and I will substitute all the values. So, now here E1 is given as E1 is given 360 volts, F1 is 60 hertz, F2 is 10 hertz, IF1 is 3.6 ampere and IF2 is 2.4 ampere. Everything is given. Just substitute the value and get the value of E2 which comes out to be 160 volts. Clear? All of you getting this value? Great. So we have take we have taken as many problems as possible from uh, EMF for EMF induced in alternator considering pitch factor distribution factor. In next class, in next video, I'll come up with few more problems but with different concepts. So if you like my videos and you are 
if if you think my you videos are useful for all of you to understand the concepts of synchronous machines please like my video and share so that others can also others can also utilize this to understand the principles of synchronous machines and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos thank you and happy learning